all right hello and welcome to my channel again and today I will be talking about uh, composite materials which are used for making knife handles today so of course when thinking about knife handles I uh, think you are most of us would think first would be wood and here is a block of colored wood uh, which is uh, which I believe is elm which can be quite easily used to make handles uh, but in the modern world many knives are uh, made by the full tank construction uh, method which implies adding scales to a thick steel handle base and here is when composite materials are most needed uh, this one is by the way a custom made um, a very expensive steel uh, chisel style terrifying knife uh, which I'll be reviewing shortly uh, but still you see it's a full tank construction so the knife handle is fully profiled in steel it is bored out so to reduce weight slightly and two scales of G10 here are applied on both sides and milled uh, so when we're, so when we're talking about knives uh, we usually deal with uh, three types of composite materials uh, these are micarta G10 and carbon. Um, so let me say a few words about all three of them and describe the difference. So micarta is made of by laminated laminated layers of cloth impregnated with um, epoxy resin. Uh, usually it's pressure plus heat plus vacuum in order to remove all the bubbles from uh, the resin. Uh, bubbles are a big problem <laughs> if they appear in any of the composite materials, uh, micarta, including micarta, of course. Uh, so this um, micarta, as it uh, can be made of uh, different types of natural cloths, usually uh, it's made out either of linen, which is you know cotton cloth used for making bed sheets, uh, or it can be made of canvas, a much heavier, much heavier cloth used in making sails or heavy bagging or something like that uh, or it can be made of jute and um, jute is a sort of um, cloth which is used to make uh, coarse bags for um, I don't know rice or something you might have uh, jute was a big industry back in the 19th century but it's no more but when you see a micarta which looks like a, an old rag that's it now uh, micarta is one of the most popular materials. It's used on many cereal knives. Uh, it's relatively inexpensive, lightweight. Uh, it makes a very good polish and what, what pe most people love about it is that it grips quite well even when wet or even greased. So the next piece here is G10. Uh, you might also have heard a phrase of knives uh, which have G10 handles. So what is G10? G10 is a sort of glass fiber laminate. So uh, when micarta is made we use natural cloths. Uh, when we use, when we make G10 we use glass fiber laminates, uh, glass fiber cloth. And um, so the whole thing about glass cloths is actually high tech and very very differential but what you should know is that G10 FR4 uh, which is the full name of this material uh, is a sort of electric insulation which is made of um, electrical grade uh, fiberglass which is normally e-glass and so uh, compared to other glass fibers it's relatively not as strong as other glass fiber sorts, uh, but it mills very well, has a very good polish, uh, and is strong and very resistant to heat, salt, chemicals, and what whatsoever. So G10 is very hard to destroy. So micarta, depending on the resin type, can burn or degrade under temperature or over time collect some water. If, especially if the top layer of the resin is uh, is degraded by you know chemical wind chemicals wind salt and whatever, uh, G10 is much more resistant. And um, so uh, one of the key advantages of the G10 in knife making is that it can be supplied in very large sheets. And um, well, since I'm selling knife making materials for quite some time, I can tell you that. 
The main problem with micarta is that since it's made of natural fibers, uh, sheets are much more prone to um, losing surface integrity. They can, you know, they can curl. And when milling, uh, when milling, especially for large projects, that is a major problem. Uh, G10 glass sheets are a lot more stable in that sense, and you can have glass sheets as large as this one. Uh, or much much larger uh, actually the even full factory size sheets which are usually uh, about meter by a meter 20 uh, centimeters um, they can lie flat on a milling machine and a milling machine can just go and work and create you know, 100 and 100 kits of handle of handle or scales at a time and that's not a problem with just now uh, the third material we can be talking we can talk about today is carbon uh, well to say the least it's uh, the range is not completed by these three materials but just to uh, finish the sort of the price tag idea um, uh, we should finish with carbon fiber laminate sheets so technologically it's um, the same so sheets woven off are carbon fibers uh, of car five carbon fiber cloths are impregnated with um, epoxy resin and then pressure and heat are applied uh, in order to make the resin polymerase and vacuum is used of course during impregnation in order to remove any bubbles so that the technology is pretty much the same um, so carbon is the most expensive of all three simply because uh, carbon fiber costs about four times at least four times more than glass fiber and say seven times more than natural fi natural fabrics uh, of cheaper sorts you know fabrics <laughs> are different uh, so the advantages of carbon are it's lightweight and extremely strong uh, so it has the best weight to uh, weight to strength ratio. I'm not a physicist, so I need to work on that language a little bit. Uh, but um, basically, if we're talking about advantages, uh, micarta is only good on is only good on full tang knives, which can which have the strength based on actually on the blade, uh, on the handle made of steel. Uh, or on folding knives which have very strong uh, steel supports. G10 is stronger than micarta, uh, so it can it is good on full tanks, uh, but it can support a folding knife or a knife with a short tang, simply because the material is much more much harder. Uh, but still, uh, especially when using thin G10, most manufacturers would use a steel frame on a knife and carbon being the, st the strongest and the lightest can support a knife on its own so you can see super light uh, folding knives with uh, only carbon fi with carbon fiber handles uh, but most manufacturers and most custom knife makers use carbon as a decorative piece um, to me uh, the way milled carbon looks is not exactly the best so well polished G10 looks way better if you ask me especially if it's black <laughs> but you know it's uh, taste is not an issue uh, so um, that is about it to sum it up uh, when we speak about uh, knife making um, a lot today is done using sheet material processing and uh, knife making, especially in industrial grade knife making, is no exception. Uh, so composites are used widely in order to create a big number of uh, handles, especially using CNC milling machines. Um, so most, and the three basic classes are micarta, G10 and carbon fiber. Uh, of course, when you go to custom knife makers, you'll see a lot of absolutely insane materials being used, such as Kevlar, um, Kevlar laminates, um, some hybrids, or whatever. But the ones we, are discussed, we have discussed today are the basics. So thank you very much, and goodbye.